Lords of the Fallen, like many dark fantasy action RPGs before it, limits you to only a handful of healing items between rests. Called Sanguinarix, the game starts you out with only three. But fear not, you can increase the amount of charges and the item's effectiveness through hidden items called saintly quintessences. This is only possible after defeating the first major boss, Pieta, she of Blessed Renewal. Once you overcome her, you'll be able to upgrade when speaking to her within Skyrest Bridge. As Lords of the Fallen features a sprawling, labyrinthine world to explore, you may be worried you've missed a quintessence or two. If that's the case, we've got you covered to make sure you find them all. This saintly quintessence requires Abbot Vernoff's key, which is required to progress the game and found within a church deep within the manse of the Hallowed Brothers area. There's no vestige nearby and plenty of sub-bosses and swarms of enemies to contend with, so we highly recommend planting a vestige seed when you reach it. Once you obtain the key, head back into the courtyard where a hammer-wielding hallowed sentinel protected by an umbral parasite prowls. Beneath the bridge that leads to the abiding defender sub-boss fight, there's a door that requires Abbot Vernoff's key. Open it to find a circular room with a handful of penitent non-hostile enemies. We recommend killing them, remorsefully of course, so lock-on becomes easier when you shift into the Umbral Realm. Learn from our mistakes. When you do shift into the Umbral Realm, you'll have two Umbral Reapers to contend with. There's no shame in quickly soul-flaying the bloated corpse holding the quintessence, picking it up and booking it back to your seedling. Warp back to Skyrest Bridge and give it to Pieta. If this is your 13th quintessence, she'll only give you a measly 5% healing bump to your Sanguinarix. However, your next upgrade will grant another charge. We hope this video helped you track down a valuable saintly quintessence. Be sure to check our previous saintly quintessence video to make sure you didn't miss the one that came before. And if you want to ensure you don't miss the next one, make sure to subscribe to Prima Games for our continued coverage on Lords of the Fallen.